welcome back. It's Big Dino Plays. We're back for our Age of Tyranny campaign in Too Many Bones with the great Carcass. Uh, so we've successfully defeated three tyrants, so we're on to the fourth one. I've selected a challenging one for us, Oxide. Oxide has uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things that we need to work through. Um, we'll definitely need to try and remove our attack stat <laughs> uh, issue uh, because yeah, there's a lot of challenge. Anyway, we're going to give it a crack and, and hope for the best. So uh, we will start uh, on day three with two progress points. And let's have a crack. Uh, slip and slade for this fire and ice. Two training points. Cobalt staff put into the units for moving on its turn. No, we'll take the top one. Uh, it's three baddie points. So it's going to be a cobalt green thumb. Which I think we have already fought. Collector, plated kobold, dragon hatchling. There he is, kobold green thumb. And uh, two level ones. So we find ourselves with a mischievous little goblin at initiative five. An untargetable monkey. Those little monkeys. Hey? Just little pests. And our green thumb. This will be a challenging... Oh no, it was include, wasn't it? It was include a green thumb. Including green thumb. Okay. Uh, so that was the first one. So this guy, shuffle him back in. One, two, three. He's actually there. Okay, that was harder than it needed to be, didn't I? So it's two baddies. Uh, our initiative is three, so we're actually going second. So that's not ideal. What trap dice will we get? Oh, we get to ignore the first damage. Okay, that seems okay. Um, we want to attack this guy using our Trove Loot card. I'll actually just shuffle everything since I've yet to do that. Our recipe deck. All right, wish us luck. So, on our first turn, this guy is going to shoot us, and hopefully, he's mischievously careless. He's not, he's going to do two damage, which we ignore thanks to Volkesh's claw. Wonderful, he's going to go like that, and he's going to bones is perfect so we will move one two I think we may be better off putting up defense dice and targeting that guy so we'll target him we'll put up two defense dice and we'll do one damage to him it's round two uh, so he's going to take one of our dice away and he's going to do nothing. And then the little kobold hits us for two. And okay, well, we have to go for our other plan now. One, two. Uh, not that dice, this dice. Tripping for five damage. 
Aximov list, which is good. He goes on the hooks. This is a big one. This guy moves one, two. If he rolls a two, we're defeated. It's a one. Okay, so now, think carefully, Deno. That's exhausted. So we definitely need a shield, a shield. Uh, and an attack. The attack does a bones, but the shields come up there. That's turn three. Turn four, he goes. He swings one, which we'll use there. Our turn, we'll roll two attack and then our blue dice. So the blue dice, we will actually lock and then we will do one wound thanks to Hardy. We're just gonna scrape in with this, I think. Round five, here's one attack. Does one, removes that. We will roll these two. We do one damage, we get three bones. Do we do the three bones, cook battle rations, heal ourselves? Uh, it doesn't matter, so instead... Yep, it doesn't matter. So, we defeat him, he doesn't go on the hooks. And we just barely <laughs> survive. We will heal ourselves with our rest and recover. Uh, this one's good actually. So this one means that uh, if we um, fail a quest, we can actually still recover or gain the rewards from doing so. Whew. Scary one to start on day three. <laughs> so two training points, one dexterity. And one culinary studies. Let's get a recipe, hopefully. That's it. We're on to day four. And we have a tyrant encounter. Saturday night femur. <laughs> baddie points. Four baddie points and add a mech. Well, this will be over very, very shortly. Uh, four baddie points. One, two, three, four. And a mech. Saturday night. FEMA. Uh, well, we want to try and get a... Oh, we can. Even better. We want to try and get a recipe out of this. That's our, that's our objective. One recipe will be good. We'll see, we might get, something might come our way. A little mischievous goblin, potentially okay. So if we can roll our defense dice and jank us flashback. Let's see what we roll on our initiative. Five. Oof. And our Volkesh's claw is a shield. Damn, I would have really preferred the trap there. Hmm. Okay, well. We're immune to the first attack, and the first attack is going to be the weakened attack with two attack dice. So that's potentially good. This goblin is the trickiest, I think, because he's removing our shields. So let's just go there. One, two, three, four. 
No, instead of that, we'll roll our battlefield improvisation dice. All right, here we go. Round one, fight! Uh, okay, so we put up three defense, which is excellent. This trove trip damage is six, so we will take that and exhaust to completely defeat this guy. He would go on the hooks, but there's nothing to go on the hooks. No space. So that'll do. Okay, so this guy attempts to shoot us. And does so. However, we ignore it. Thanks to uh, our shield. This dude goes here and he flies. Uh, where's the flight? Here. Hits us for two, one, two. We remove the defense dice. And then this one, one, two, three. We'll go one, two to here and do nothing. Round two, unfortunately this mech's gonna come on. What do we got? Intense four and flight. Okay, intense four and flight is not good. Comes on the bottom. Where does he appear? I'd love it if he appeared over here. Come on, Dano. Perfection. One, two. Three, four. I'm going to survive for a little bit here because. I think a shield and an attack dice is our better option, but we are going to be weakened. Yep. So we remove his shield, we put up another shield. He attacks us, uh, doesn't put up a shield, does two damage, but weakens us. One, two. One. And then this one attacks us. Does two. Nobody else attacks. Oh, this guy's got a range attack. Joan the Joan. Does one. Okay. So we're definitely losing this encounter. But we are first. So we'll use our culinary dice. And see if we can learn a recipe. And then maybe try and kill him. We learned gross food. Uh, it's better than nothing, so we'll take gross food. So we are defeated in the encounter. I'm not going to roll any dice. We're definitely going to die. Now, unfortunately... One, on three. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot use this... Uh, the next time the party is unsuccessful in a non-tyrant encounter. So we can't use it on that. But anytime you're defeated, we gain a boon. Uh, and so we'll shuffle the boons. And we get... Uh, all Gearlocks remove up to two scars. Thank you. One, two... <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, another Tyrant encounter, but we are on a five. Jeez, another Tyrant encounter after that. So that means we're only going to have one baddie. So it's just a level a five baddie. We rest and recover. Core health. Uh, that one's a challenge. That was always going to be a challenge, that age, that day. So we won't have, won't worry ourselves about that. Removing the two scars is potentially very beneficial. So uh, we'll cook gross food, discard our baddie off the hook, 
So we have a gross food. And we just have a level five baddie. Place his torso. Operational side up. Three hit points. On a mech starting position with no lane marker. Take a turn at the start of round on its turn instead of moving, the torso rolls a d6 in his place on the corresponding mech starting position. Okay. Don't be something bad. Oh, detonate. He's initiative one. How can we utilize this? Hmm, what's their initiative? Doesn't matter, four. What are we rolling for this? Our shield. That's a shame, the trap would have been nice. Um, great. I'll actually go here. Start of the turn, the shield moves to a new location, goes to three. Uh, I'm going to move one, two, three. Four. And I'm going to put my gross food here. And then I'm going to attack that for one. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> That's so good. It's actually a six. So that kills the thing. And that means it is placed on faulty side up. Done. He then moves one, takes two damage, one, two, and then he detonates, which would do that, but that's it. Goes on the hooks. Uh, does he go on the hook? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him on the hooks. He deserves to be on the hooks. <laughs> uh, nice to get a cheeky one. So one progress point, two training points, and a loot. The loot that we get is... Reflex powder. Reroll any die on your turn. Two training points. Okay, I am going to attempt to a train attack. We successfully train attack. And I am going to attempt to train. Uh, it's not an attempt. I will succeed in training executive chef. Okay, day six, armed and dangerous. The plant has manufacturing tech well beyond what was known to the public. Uh, two mechs is all we have to face. That's nice. Assault and self-repair one. Don't enjoy that as much. What position are you joining us at? Position five. And you, self-repair swap. Swap is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, four. In position four. Okay, think carefully, Deno. We're initiative five. And be the trap. All baddies enter the battle mat. Start with HP reduced by one. One. End of the current round. Okay. Wildfire. 
Uh, we lost that encounter, so we actually lose the locked slot. So that's something that I should be thinking about now. Okay, think Deno, think. So we're first. We'll definitely roll our trove die. We'll roll two attack die. And we'll roll our executive study die. Is that the right option? Yes. Oh, it's just coming up. Millhouse, isn't it? <laughs> we'll discard this guy on our stacks because he will give us a recipe. I already shuffled the recipes, but we get Ogot Crusted. I like that one. So recipe gone. We'll then discard that to do three damage because all three of those are three. And he has one health left, which we will do with that. Puts him on the hooks. He's done. Uh, this guy will go one, two, and then he will swap with us. And that is the end of the round. So we go to round two. He has three shield. Uh, so we will go one, one, two, three. So we kill him. There's one, two, three, four, five. He would go on the hooks, but there's nothing, no space on the hooks. So we now have to decide, do we extend this battle? Add Oxide's operational arms 1 and 2 to mech starting positions 3 and 4 with 3 HP each. I think we will. Operational arm. Operational arm. With how many health each? 3. Mm. So positions... Three and four. Uh, okay, so they'll come in at the bottom in terms of initiative, so it's round three. So we will move one. We'll throw three attack dice. So we do one. I will use my reflex powder to re-roll this dice on my turn into a two. Can I do anything with that? Yeah, we'll try re-rolling it again. Oh, does one. Oh, one. So, uh, that is it. So he goes, he rolls one attack dice and he puts his shield back up. Damn you for doing two. He goes one, two. Um, I gotta put some shields up now. Uh, we also lose our culinary studies dice from shock. Oof, this is so close. I've gotta roll. I've gotta roll two. Alright, so we put up a shield, which is great. We put that up and we do two damage, which defeats that arm. Each arm you defeat is removed from the adventure. So that one is removed from the adventure. And uh, this guy will go to here. He swings on us, round four. He does nothing. We will roll one, two, three, and a shield. Put up a shield, put up a bones. One, two, three. One shield, one, two. Hook meat. Kills him. Yeah! Two arms down, baby! Uh, great work, everyone. <laughs> great work. Um, so we'll rest and recover. So we go back to four health. Man, that was such a good win. Two training points and a loot. Fortunate discovery. We will take the fortunate discovery, which is our consumable hook meat guy. The 
two training points that we will take, we will take a... Oh, I should have rolled this in my last turn because I had an extra one left over. That doesn't matter. Um, so I'll take a meat hooks and I will then uh, use one of these to get a five baddie on the hooks. And I will then take a dexterity maybe. Do I take scavenge? This is a tricky call now. Let's go with scavenge. Uh, so we're on day seven. So success, success, failure, success. So we've got five of a possible six training point or thingy. Um, so we're one away, it's day seven. So we've got a day up our sleeve. Just before I do that, I'm gonna cook the Ogot Crusted. Do I want to, instead of going for scavenge, take a health? I think I will take a health instead. Starting to get a little bit hairy for my liking. <laughs> All right, weather predictions. Windbreaker. Batty points, subtract one point. We'll take that. It's a five and a one. You cannot move or roll attack dice during round one. That'll be okay. So, the five is Hardy and Inspire. Inspire, I don't love. Six. Initiative three. And the one is an untargetable monkey. I'm gonna kill you, monkey. I don't want you to have. Uh, actually, the monkey's not gonna get any benefit from Inspire. Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. Our initiative is five. So we are going first. We can't roll attack dice on our first turn. Our trap dice is making us immune to attacks. The first round. So we'll go here. We'll move one, two, three, four. Uh, killing this monkey right now would be incredible. We're going to kill the monkey! Because uh, once again, we've flipped off the any choice and it's a 5-3 or a 1. So, we'll kill the monkey. He's on the hooks. Two of these. This guy has his first turn. And he does absolutely nothing because of that. So it's round two. Um, well, we just need to do one damage a turn. So we'll try and learn a recipe. Uh, we can learn a recipe. We'll discard the mech. We can choose from the top two. Troll Brew Battered is our preference there to get thick skin. This will go here. Do we want to, and we do one damage to him. Do we want to cook battle rations? No, we won't do that yet. That's the end of our turn. So this guy will roll three attack dice. One, two, three. He does one damage to us. It's round three. Two attack dice, sorry, two defense, one attack. Can we use our blue dice now? Uh, so we'll put up three shield, that's nice. And one attack, boom. 
We won't use that. His turn. One, two, three. Five? Get out of here. So he does two damage to us. Get out of here, idiot. Round four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we'll use battle rations to immediately cook and eat to heal for two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Do we use our Domino's War Map to stop him from attacking us this turn? Choose up to two five point batteries and place them on available positions of your choice. We could place him here, which moves him to there. Yep, I think that's what we have to do. It's a shame, but we will use that like so. He then moves one, two. It's round five. We'll go here. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll probably use the culinary studies. Oh. So we've got another cooking if we want. We do one. It's his turn five. As long as he doesn't roll absolute red hot. He does not. So fatigue ground starts. He gets one. He gets one. It's our turn. We just need to roll two attack dice, two defense dice. We defeat him. Uh, great work. That's a great win. I feel enthusiastic about that result. <laughs> Get on the hooks. Hardy with six health is just a joke. We'll go back up to five. We have achieved the number of progress points we require. And we're on day eight. So we have one more day. We have two training points and a loot. The loot that we get is Ogot Herbs. I don't think we're going to be able to retain Domino's War Map. And I also don't think we're going to have a dominant strategy. So I think these Ogot Herbs are actually better than the map. So we'll take that. Two training points. Um, knowing what I know about the final battle, we probably want to train attack again. So we'll attempt that and succeed for two. And then we're probably on the hooks, aren't we? Dex? Dex. Okay, so we have one more battle, which I think is Fine. So let's try this one more battle on day eight, and then we will go into day nine. We've achieved the progress already, so we're just trying to level up. Uh, baddie points, including a tr troll brewmaster. Only one baddie may be on the battle map at one time. We will take that. <laughs> we will take that. We've got the troll brewmaster ready to go. Five health, one, two, three, four, five. He's got recover and thick skin, he's initiative three. And then there is going to be three level one baddies in the battle queue. Our initiative is higher than his. What are we rolling? We're rolling a burning ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Don't really want him to attack us, but let's put the ring here. Let's put ourselves here. Let's go first. So, two, defense, a recipe, another recipe. That'll do. So we'll discard this monkey to get the top two recipes and choose one. Honey glazed or K 
caramelized is fun. Uh, we don't want gross food. We'll put up one shield. And we'll put body harvest up. Uh, we'll use Ogot Crusted right now. Uh, discarding our one. And that will do one, two, three to him. One, two, three. On his turn, he recovers one and then he moves one, two. And this is a glorious plan <laughs> if he doesn't roll five damage on these attacks. Come on, idiot. <laughs> Ooh, three. One, two, three. So the reason why that's a glorious plan is I'll use my Ogot Herbs three times on round two. One, two, three. To recover my health back. And then I will roll two attack dice. No, I'll roll two defense dice and three attack dice. I'll roll that. One shield goes up and four attack is enough to defeat the troll brewmaster. Get on the hooks! <laughs> Get on the hooks. Uh, it's round three. This guy's going to come onto the battle mats. Uh, he is coming on behind us. He's got three health. Mischief and Careless. We'll go one, two. And we defeat him. He would go on the hooks, but he doesn't. It's round four. This guy comes on. Blind Strike and Dodge. I'm glad I kept my little loop die up my sleeve. So we'll roll that. A defense. And my recipe dice. Uh, we get a defense two. This here, force, you can see is force three. So he is defeated. He would go on the hooks, but he can't. Uh, don't want gross food. This is all, all too easy. I feel like Darth Vader. Mischief one, four damage. Round five, I'll roll four attack dice, culinary studies. Uh, we get that, we get one, two, three, four, five damage. He is defeated. We level up exactly as we wanted. It's perfect. Let's think very carefully. Uh, do we cook gross food? No, I don't think we do. Okay, so we gain a training point and we gain a progress. So the training point that we get, we will put into a health at this point, or do we skin? Yeah, I think we'll take skin for our single training point. We're then going to cook uh, thick skin. Uh, sorry, we're going to take a baddie from our... That, uh, that consumables proved to be absolutely incredible. Yep, so we'll cook this guy with troll brew battered and then ogot crusted. We'll do the other one that we will cook here. Caramelized stays here. What was the thing I took? That. Should I take fast food so I can cook some things? No, I'm only going to be able to cook that. So we'll discard that last one to get a five on the thing. Do I instead take? Do I instead take? Fast food so I can potentially cook another ogot crusted. Yep, I think instead of what skin I'm gonna take, it's six and one half a dozen the other actually. No, it's, it's better if I take fast food. Fast food, done. Okay, really, really good run, this one, to get to the final battle. 
We got rid of both of his arms. So day nine, our last chance. Dearly departed, we are gathered here today to separate this guy's arms from his body. <laughs> Oxide. He will go into a battle map position. He goes into position six, which is down here. Um, and he is initiative three, so we are going before him. We don't need to roll. It's round one. Okay. Do we want to let him go first, actually? Yeah, I think we're going to let him go first. And we're going to position ourselves here. So the reason we're going to do that is his dice can sometimes drop a part off. Uh, he's not going to be able to attack us, and the other bits are not as much of a concern. So let's see. Um, we do want to get our thick skin up. Yep, no, that's fine. So, round one, one, two, and he will roll his dice. He rolls a shield, which is flip any separated operational parts to their faulty side. So it does nothing. Our turn. So, we will apply thick skin to ourself for the remainder of the battle. And it's thick skin two, if you don't mind. So, dying is probably not on our equation for the moment. Uh, so, we'll move one. Swing one, two, three, four. Uh, so we'll put up two shields, we'll do two damage, which does not deal him any HP damage, so that's it. Round two, he goes. He's got his one shield up now. He rolls three attack dice on us. So he does three damage. We've still got thick skin in play. And he now rolls fall apart. So at the end of Oxide's turn, separate its bottom part and place it on a mech starting position. So the mech starting position is, don't be one, two, or three, one, three, or five. Ah, oh, doofus. So this thing now takes a turn and it goes one, two, and it attacks us for one. The attack is not relevant. But the bleed is. So he bleeds us for one. It's our turn. Uh, we're going to use Ogot Crusted. Sorry. Uh, so we take a true damage. I believe we're going to use Ogot Crusted to defeat that. One down. Uh, we're going to roll. Got to roll this dice, did I? Uh, Ring of Fire. Uh, doesn't matter. I forgot to roll it. It's a shame. Could have been good. Uh, that guy also has shock, didn't he? Yeah, shock. So we have to lose one. So we lose at culinary skills. Um, so we will roll two defense dice. One, two, two attack dice. And we'll also roll fast food. So we can cook two recipes. We will cook Ogot Crusted again. And we'll cook Lashback. Troll Brew Battered. No, we want Caramelized. Caramelized. Move a baddie up to X positions on the battle mat equal to the initiative stat. We'll swap them over. So that one's gone. We put up two shields and we do three damage. Uh, he, yeah, he self repaired for one. So one, so we drop off the bottom one. It's a poison two. 
Um, and its battle map position is go on the right side. Oh. One, two. Uh, and then he hits us, doesn't do any damage, but it does poison us for two. Which finally, which removes the bleed, so not bad, but we'd really like a heal at this point. Uh, round three, his turn. He rolls this. He rolls one, two, three, and he self-repairs for one. It's going to be tight. Uh, so another piece drops off. Where is it? Uh, position. Position six. All right. One, two. Is what it does. Um... And he removes that, but we have thick skin too, so it does nothing. That was its turn. Its turn, it just applies poison as well. Okay. So it's our turn. We take two damage from poison. One, two. Down to one. We'll use our Ogot Crusted to do true damage to that, to defeat that. We're going to roll all of these attack dice on this and the defense dice on this. So we put up two shield. We kill that. We get a bones. So I'm going to use my caramelized make the mech move away four spaces one two three four to there and that's round three over so round four he moves one two he goes back up to full shield mech arm what does that do assemble randomly place all separated parts there is no separated parts Um, it's my turn. I suffer a poison. I really need to cook gross food. So how do I best do that? So we'll roll this. So we'll move one. Roll one, two, three. We'll remove one of these and go four. Is that right? That one's no good to us. That's actually a higher chance of rolling a bones. <laughs> Just two out of the six faces. Come on, Deno. You can do this. Oh, I was supposed to, uh, I was supposed to remove an attack dice uh, when I hurt him. Did I already use this dice? I feel like I've gotten very sloppy. Uh, I'm attack four. Um, so I, I definitely, definitely okay. I can't remember if I've used this dice. I don't think I have. So I am going to take that. It's going to be two dice minimum exhausted. Most of his parts have dropped off themselves, haven't they? I'll keep that. What is this? It's got to be the body, doesn't it? The body, which is faulty. It's got poison. No. Um, I don't want to do any damage. I'm not going to use any of my damage. It's round five. He goes. He rolls three attack dice and that dice. No! Alright, we don't die. But, if we roll a mech position that is adjacent to us, one of these ones... We're going to get poisoned and die before we get a chance. Come on! Three. Nah, that's it. Because this buff head has poison. Poison one. I just couldn't roll bones at that point, could I? Uh, I don't think I can do anything to stop that because he just goes one, two, poisons me. And then on my turn, I die. No! Ah, oh, well, we gave it a crack. 
All I needed was probably just one more turn. If I had I had battle rations from two more from two gross food, we could have gone back up to three. We would have taken some fatigue, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hook meat, etc. He's a great tyrant to fight. Actually, you need to you need to really think about him. Uh, imagine if we didn't get rid of the arms and the legs, we would have been absolutely cooked. Spine, leg, leg, bleed, bleed. Uh, one extra health might have got us over the line, but we're not to be. Well, that'll bring to an end this episode of Age of Tyranny, um, the series. So we fell short at the fourth tyrant. I thought we were a chance there, but it is what it is. Carcass, a lot of fun. I uh, very much rate him so far. I think he's actually my favorite Gearlock that I've played. So um, he's really good. He's really good fun. Uh, we may play some more Too Many Bones. Uh, we've got... Um, yeah, we've got some... We've got the Lab Rats, which are recently added to my collection. So I'd be really keen to try those out. Maybe not on stream. <laughs> They're pretty complex. But uh, yeah, good fun. Enjoy this game a lot. Uh, it's one of those games that I will pull out every now and then and just uh, just play pretty much non-stop and then, uh, and then I'll pack it away for a year or two till I come back and just go absolutely ham on it. So I do have Splice and Dice too, which I haven't played. So I might, uh, I might try some Splice and Dice because um, I don't know what it is. I've got the monster. I've you played the bosses, but I haven't played the things. So good one. Hey, that was really, really good. Uh, appreciate everyone. Hope you enjoy. Chat to you on the next episode. Big Dental out.